Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Cape Valero Road. I chose to come here right now because I knew there'd be some open spaces once we get near. There's that old windmill. And they're putting in a development here. And I'm hoping once this development or roads or whatever this is going to be is done, I can get closer to that windmill. I hope they don't take it down. But they're working on it. I wanted to get over here to get closer to the sky facing west. Here comes a truck. I just checked on Luciano. He's doing well. He's concerned about the upcoming weather because the upcoming weather is uh, cloudy tomorrow and then five or six days with a 50, 60 percent chance of rain. And when the rain comes, it kind of uh, keeps him trapped at the uh, church. There's a pretty good size covered area that he uh, stays at at night. And that means I'll be running him food because he can't cook there. So uh, I think when I take him to the grocery store this week, He'll get uh, items that don't need to be cooked. Peanut butter, jelly, lunch meat, stuff like that. But he actually worries about feeding the birds. You know, what are they going to eat when he's not there? And I guess they're putting in the uh, culverts. Maybe a sewer system. Drainage, plumbing first. Pretty neat. Man, that's a cool looking sky. You got some big boy toys over there. Yeah, so... I know uh, several of you have messaged me that you're come into town I think you're coming just as the rains getting here unfortunately but if you send me an email or leave a message in the video comments I'll tell you where I'm at if you want to stop and say hi that's awesome comes the car nothing behind me I'm keeping an eye out behind me since right now we are buzzing down the road at 12 miles an hour. It opens up and gets pretty down here. Needed to get out into the open. I've talked about my cousin before up in Maine, but he uh, he's a taxidermist now. And he's always been really good at art. And he's a big time hunter. He uses a crossbow, or a, not a crossbow, but a bow and arrow, a special type, you know, with all the wheels and everything on it. And he's harvested, uh, there's a fake windmill. <laughs> he's harvested moose and deer and elk and everything else, but he's really, really good at fish taxidermy and it's really odd to me that uh, you know my dad and uh, my uh, cousin's uncle my uncle Alan they grew up in Maine and they didn't hunt and fish and their brother Max as far as I know didn't hunt and fish they're all three passed away right now but uh, my cousin, my cousin and his brother, their mom got remarried, and I think it was their uh, 
second stepdad, you know, first stepdad that gave him the hunting bug. But now that I think about it, my brother Bobby lives up there, and I don't think he even fishes. Or I, I know he doesn't hunt, or at least not that I know of. I guess it's it's not just a cultural thing, it's a family thing as well. We will see. Yeah, my cousin David has won all kinds of awards and shows up there. And then I have another... I don't know what my relationship is, but... I'm friends with a relative on Facebook. And he... Uh, does beautiful wood carvings and uh, does a lot of pencil drawings he's a uh, very talented not me you know what my artistic talent is I point an iPhone at stuff <laughs> Now we're, this is a good angle because not quite seeing the power lines overhead, but they're there. There they go. This is that little road where we always find all the shotgun shells right down there. And we found some uh, broken clay pigeons. This road goes east, west zigzags back and forth through the little marshy area little tidal pools if you're coming to Rockport write down Cape Valero Road B-A-L-E-R-O Cape Valero Road it's not even 10 minutes from Rockport Beach and uh, it's a beautiful spot to catch a sunset Especially when the little pools of water coming up here on both sides of the road are uh, filled with water. Hopefully this upcoming rain will get us out of the extreme drought conditions. But that rain that we've gotten so far has greened things up. It felt cool last night when I was by the uh, water at Rockport Beach. But once I got to the Wally World parking lot, it was pretty humid. I didn't sleep long enough, but I slept deep. I ran one of my friend's playlists and went to bed fairly early, for me anyway. I think around, I don't know, 10, 15. I was trying to watch um, birds. I was trying to watch uh, a friend's uh, live stream on Facebook, uh, Life of Nicole. She has a YouTube channel too, Life of Nicole. And um, I just kept getting knocked off. Look at all the egrets, guys. Look at all the, wow, look at all the egrets. And some ducks. It's like Mutual of Omaha out here. <laughs> It's like some younger blue herrings as well. I'm trying to adjust the windows so we don't get... Uh, there's my broken mirror. Well, the mirror is not broken. Huh. What are those black and white birds, guys? I don't know if you can see them or not, but... Maybe that's just what a clean seagull looks like. Now they're not seagulls. I don't know what they are. Deborah will know. Come on, Deborah. What are they? I 
I'm always surprised how many of you guys know what's going on. What about the egrets out there. Nice. Now all the egrets have moved up to here. One tooth, man, there's got to be 20 just in that little 15 foot spot right there. I think I see a Rosetta Spoonbill. I see one Rosetta Spoonbill. Right in there, guys. Car coming. This looks like a bird sanctuary here. <laughs> That's a, I see at least two Rosetta Spoonbills. Sorry, checking my rear view mirrors a lot. And... Trying to be considerate of others. Man, they got quite the wingspan, huh? Those little pinkish ones, white but with a little pink tint, are Rosetta Spoonbills. Not a birder in sight. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. And then there's there's more. Nice, very nice. That might have been the same spot we saw them a couple weeks ago when we were out here at a sunset. And I think a loud diesel came by and kind of scared them away. Yeah. I wouldn't mind like a week of sunshine. But we need the rain, so... It's going to rain whether I want it to or not, right? What's the positive? good sleeping when you get the little pitter patter hopefully it'll cool things off a bit I'll get a free car wash people will get some drinking water their lawns will look nice the rain will come and make everything pretty for videos so there's the positive As long as it's warm, I don't even worry about it if I get wet because it's so hot. Even when it's dry, I still I wake up wet, especially where my body is on the sheets. I'm a wet dude. You can smell my right side. Smell pretty good. My left side, not so much. <laughs> I make sure when someone comes to give me a hug, they're getting the right side hug, not the left side hug. I was talking to uh, Jake's mom, Jake, that rode along with me and helped with the horses. She invited uh, me to go swimming. I think I mentioned that before. But that pool has a sand bottom and a sand ent entryway. You know you got a little money when you build a beach going into your pool, you know? So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Plus, I get to uh, dunk Jake's head underwater five or six times. So, bonus for Dennis. I get to go swimming and torture Jake, which is always a good thing. I am kind of keeping my eye out for gators because I know their habitat over at the uh, wildlife refuge basically has dried up. And when that dries up, they like to get out and explore a bit. So 
So I'm looking for any gator slides or gator heads sticking up. When you go looking for them, it's tough to find them. Basically, you see them when you don't expect it. Wonder how that pond is doing over at uh, just a ton of birds, a literally ton. I, I, I know they don't weigh much individually, but there is just a ton of birds out today. Wonder how that water level at that gator pond in uh, Holiday Beach East is doing. Oh, horrible dad joke. I remembered to uh, ask uh, Siri for one. How do you fix a broken tuba? That's an easy one. Tuba glue. <laughs> Series on a roll uh, lately. A couple good ones, huh? Hey guys, thanks for riding along today. I appreciate you. Here comes the rain. Thanks for watching.